the chat, uh, first we get rid of it, I'm gonna show on the, one more option when the guy shoots the double leg. Okay, to the back transition, and then we do like a clock chop uh, from no key position. So it's gonna be like this, so I'm gonna be here with my arms down like this, so Chad's gonna shoot my legs for the double leg, I'll shoot my legs for the double leg. I'm gonna sprawl, see, I'm gonna sprawl, and then from here when I sprawl, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look for his ankle. So I'm gonna control his head, control his arm, and then I'm gonna look for his ankle. I'm gonna bring my left hand up, right here. I'm gonna grab his ankle, and then I'm gonna run to the, I'm gonna do the transition to the back control. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna use the left hand, I'm gonna pull, and come to the back control like this. See, I'm gonna keep my knee right here, push my hip against him, like this. One, one knee stand, one knee down, I'm gonna control his arm here. So then from this point, turn, 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 turn. From this point here, turn, yeah. So from this point here, I control the leg to have a better control of his hip. I control his arm, his arm. I push my weight against him to avoid his stand up, and then I'm gonna switch my grip from my left hand from the thigh to his wrist, like this. And then I'm gonna pull his wrist in. And then my hand that I point to the arm, I'm gonna drive Cross his neck, and I'm gonna cup the shoulder. And then from this point here, I'm gonna switch to my left side. I'm gonna jump to my left side. See, but I'm gonna be in the same position, see? I'm gonna have my knee down here, and my knee up on my left. See, and then from here, I'm gonna switch my grip up. Turn, turn a little bit. Turn, turn, turn. See, uh, he, he's okay. So from here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch my, my grip on the wrist and grab my own wrist. But at the same time I grab my own wrist, I'm gonna push my weight over his head. I'm gonna put my forehead on the floor as a point of balance. And I'm gonna pull my wrist across, and I have my forearm across his, his neck. I'm gonna pull applying pressure, keep my forehead as a point of balance, and then I'm gonna walk like a clock choke, applying pressure, see? Or he tap away, but here you need to apply pressure with your hip on his neck, on his head, and keep walk, walk, or he tap. So there's just one more option when the guy shoot the double leg. You do a very easy transition to the, to the back control, to the back side, and then jump to the other side and do like the clock choke, the no deep clock choke, okay? Hope you guys like. What's the position for today? Oh,